What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. Oh! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a part of Phoenix Wright Justice for All. <laughs> Almost said Ace Attorney. I mean, I think it is Ace Attorney Justice for All, but I like to just say it, you know, Justice for All. Anyways, <laughs> today we're gonna play episode 2. Uh, reunion and turnabout, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty hyped. There was a, you know, little girl and Maya. It seems they're like from the same village, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. You know what? Let's dive right into it. There was no accident. Whoa! What's with the what? I was drugged with a sleeping pills. With sli uh, sleeping pills. Oh. What? I was murdered by that person. What? That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Ini. Huh? I finally get to see you again and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. What? A case again? Maya? But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. Oh, are you shitting me? I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess. Keep playing through my mind. Oh my goodness. Maya, you're charged for murder again? Oh, Maya, you don't have... You don't have the best luck when it comes to that. Let me just... Let me tell you. June 16th, 3.34, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Ah, what depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Uh, I guess. Hmm. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at a weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. It's what the girl said. I'd stack my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl? Huh? She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. Hmm. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. <laughs> Hold on. What? Just, just look at you. What do you mean by friendly cheddar? Look, what? My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Okay. Remind me never to end up under his knife. Oh, I feel that. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice, malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. 14? Oh no! Oh, you're the doctor, Ed. It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I heard you. Um, I agree it's quite upsetting, Dora Gray. Uh... The, the one that screwed up was that nurse! It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. Oh my... Just imagine you, you're working as a nurse and you have something like that. I mean, how, how? I mean, I have a I have a friend who like works in that field of place, but huh? And yet, now listen good. And yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and this is the kicker. Uh, 
she up in herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash! Crunch! Instantly transforming her car into an accordion model. That's right, about a year ago, all the tabloid shows uh, were talking about it. 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was forever to hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. <sighs> Why would I? Uh, now I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 40 patients, not me! Um, look, I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and, um, focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because this, this situation is slipping out of my grasp! This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they are not coming to my clinic! You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I would want to go either. And I mean, if there are less people coming, then that means they are healthy. I mean, not automatically, but I would be happy, right? Or maybe I'm just tripping, I don't know. Um, look, so what would you like to, uh, me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? Uh, no, this is something only you can do. Huh? Maya Fey! You know, this girl, uh, you know this girl, correct? Uh, Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean... Hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me so. Uh, she told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together. But she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard it must be lonely for you. Okay, okay, uh... <laughs> hold on, hold on. That, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that, you know, facial expression you just gave me there. What? What? Wait, I'm not. She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling! I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Uh, oh, Maya, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she has learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Ah, I don't know, I don't know about that. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me on one con- wait. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition. The condition is you, Mr. Wright. Okay. She said she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you. Again. Me? And that's why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? And so, that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. How oh, interesting. June 19, 125, Kurain Village. Holy crap. So, this is Korean village, Maya's hometown. Hey, there's a little girl from, uh, you know, the banner, I don't know. 
Episode banner, whatever. Oh, what? Why, hello there? Oh, you, you, you just got in? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I mean, she shouldn't talk with strangers, so she's doing the right thing. Huh. Hmm, what an odd little girl. Hey, where are you up, Pearly? Hmm? Someone else is coming this way. Nick! M Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you would really show up. Aww. That's not that big a deal. Uh, I mean, you made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. Well, I mean, it's it's fine, it's fine. If I had known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear uh, training is going well for you. Oh, interesting soundtrack. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Today's channeling. Looks like you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? Ha ha ha! Behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network! Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse. He killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. <laughs> um, so, what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids are... <laughs> oh no, not, not the tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your, uh, your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard it all about it from Dr. Gray. Okay, okay, at least she's, you know, <laughs> informed. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Oh, I don't, I don't like the direction. I don't like the setup for this case already. Y yeah, I guess so. All right, tell me something about the Korean village. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep, Korean village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium. Hmm, pretty much. Most of my ancestors were too, I think. Huh, oh, that's probably true, since the fair ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So, what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. What? So all the girls come here and they don't see... any men or what? Okay, uh, I, I, I'm confused. The girl earlier. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about the girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? That's actually a cute name. Pearly? Pearl Faye. She's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin? Wait, then that means... Is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled into, drilled it into her head that... If a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. S suspicious looking? Hey, I mean... I mean, we have that fresh hair, but she isn't really well acquainted with that, so... Yeah, and kids shouldn't talk to strangers. It's, it's just natural. Well, you're not wearing training clothes uh, for starters. Of course not. Pearly's my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. Oh, hey, 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 hey. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Korean village. Aunt. Pearly's mother is my aunt, duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, 
I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, uh, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Okay, so let's get a move on. Meditation room. June 19th, Faye Maynard Meditation Room. Ah, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today, aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said, with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airways. Uh, looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. Yeah, I mean, small talk is basic, you know, it's just, yeah, it is what it is, but, hmm. But anyway, this is a splendid manor. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. Alright, alright. A guide map, a diagram of fame in. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Okay, so we are here in the meditation room. Okay, straightforward is the channeling chamber, the winding way, and the side room. Interesting. Uh, let's talk, dude. Today's channeling. Um, what are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Is it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my ne negligence. negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further ne Ugh. I hate this word. I'm sorry and I apologize for being ne negligent. Negligent. Man, stop. Stop it. That's what I will have her write. With a confession, the rain uh, falling on my soul can finally stop. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, Maya. Uh, so, how did you hear about Maya Faye? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. The girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Korean school of channel. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is the daughter uh, of the master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Alright, let's uh... Oh wow, a lot of candles! Huh. June 19th, Faye Manor Channeling Chamber. Oh. Wow. It's such a strange as atmosphere in here. Yeah, get that. Get that. 8 bit. I don't know what Zen music rolling. These flickering lights, I guess they are candles. Good sir, who might you be? Ah, uh, um, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Faye. N nice to meet you. Oh, I have wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. 
Well, it was not from Mystic Maya and her assistants. You would surely not have won. First, a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says, I stink at doing my job. Yeah, we're just getting crap. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? <laughs> Ouch, I, I felt that. <sighs> the past is the past though. Let us speak of the present now. Oh, thank you. My. So why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Oh my god, her eyes disappeared! Y yes How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? Uh, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh... It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Korean channeling technique. Okay, then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae clan, I am merely a member of the branch family. Okay, for everyone who watched who watched anime like Naruto, you know, branch family equal equals uh, you know some type of revenge, uh, dethroning the main family, and uh, yeah, yeah. Naruto is a good show. You should watch it. Branch family. What's that? It is, it is sound for a member of the branch family, no matter her spiritual power. She can never become the master of the Korean school. So, how strong are you? Hmm, it is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my power to the master's. So that's how it is. Hmm, today's channeling. So, today's channeling will be her first. Yes, good sir, because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. <laughs> okay, it is usually easier to call the person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here, uh, will take place here in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Alright, channeling chamber. So, this room is a channeling chamber. The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you would mind if we observe this session? Do not even think of such a nonsense. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Only the spirit medium and the client may enter here. Oh, oh. The secrets of the Korean technique cannot be seen by just anybody. I mean, that never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. <laughs> it is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's where the lock is for. Hmm. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that odd. She's my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? <laughs> well, what a cute daughter you have. <laughs> a pure heart that knows not of the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it! Wait, that's all?
Ah, okay, wait. This is actually the first time that we can... Um, that we are actually inspecting something. Like, uh, inspecting when even a... When the murder didn't even happen. What is this? Ah, damn it. I could have... I could have inspected um, that place when we got there like in front of the village ah damn it this folding screen is really showing its age all of its edges are a bit terror the lettering is failing too i think i recognize a few of the characters on here Ku Rain. i'm pretty sure that's what it says maybe i'll ask maya about it later oh yeah i i pronounce it Kurain. But maybe in Japanese it's like Kurain or maybe something like that. Uh, I'm not Japanese, whatever. What's this? I guess this is an al altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror like object with cloudy reflective surface. And some branches of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. Good sir, I wonder if you would please not touch the sacred objects. Those objects are being s offered to the spirits. If you were to touch them, good sir, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed. Okay, she really didn't have to talk down to me. I'm not that much of an idiot. There's some empty space behind the falling screen. The light of the candle of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. The meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy locking door. There's a giant iron lock where the handle is. It feels like a, sur a curtain that separates the normal world from the spirit one. Alright, then um, let's get a move on. I don't think that we will get anything else out of now. Let's move to... Yeah, the winding way. Okay, I immediately see a broken way. <laughs> what? June 19th, Fae Manor winding way. Alright, I have to stand up a little bit. Mm. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? Oh, incinerator. Something is getting burned in there later on. I, I, I know it. I can smell it. It looks a little out of place in a garden like this. Hey, I mean, you gotta put it somewhere, right? You cannot put it inside the house, so... Let's let's examine this first. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. Oh, oh! It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting. So time to move on. What? That's all? Okay. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this. So every family has to burn their own trash. It looks like there's a room over there too. A peaceful feeling is emanating from it. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. Hmm, it's a bit small to walk around in. Although that incinerator piques my curiosity. Well, I mean, we already we already checked on that. So let's move. Side room. Okay, June 19th, Fame in a side room. So this is the side room. Looks like it's a more of a break room. <sighs> There's bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm over there. She's probably in an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some, some Z's. If I wake her up and she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. It's probably a, a good idea to not disturb her sleep. Okay. 
<laughs> we shouldn't disturb her, but we're still standing there creeping around. Sure, sure. It's a small alcove. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, I would end up as a storage space. But here, it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. It's a decorative wooden bar sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Korean Village, the heart of channeling. What the? It's a souvenir! So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? And for them to spot you? <laughs> Huh. This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here I can see the winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. Wait, there's not even there's not a murder that oh Hey you, hold on now. This girl's got a few questions to ask. Hmm? I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. No! No! Why you? Why? God! God, no! No! Oh, uh, okay. I don't know how you feel about her, but I was so damn annoyed about her. Why? Why do you have to be back here? Wasn't it enough that you appeared on that game? Just trying to get Edgeworth guilty, found guilty because, you know, you wanted to be a part of an awesome trial, huh? Oh, my fucking lord. I have to remember what, what, what kind... Oh, well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't, you, haven't seen you in, what, a year? Um, you are, uh... What a hard... You're a lot of hard, right? Bingo! I'm the only, I'm the one and only paranormal photographer, uh, photographer, a lot of hard. Ah, so I guess you're still at it, being a photographer, I mean. Of course! And today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't know why, but I have to stand up every once in a while because like my butt is burning just from sitting. I don't know if you know that sensation. Anyways, that's probably more than you actually wanted to hear. We all should hurry up and go get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for, huh? Come on. Whatever. Lot of hard, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. I'm still doing that, sorry. But I guess looking back, we had some good times too. Hey, look, she took that one good photo and that's it, okay? But you were... she was so annoying, sorry. So I don't like her at all. June 19th, Fame Manor Meditation Room. Oh, Alright, yeah, time to go Zen mode. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya and Arnott guests, please proceed into the channeling chamber. Chamber. Hmm. Ah, with this, I can finally sweat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah. I sure would. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Mm-hmm, yep. Right here. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. That'd be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray. Let's get started. Ah, finally, let's go. Dude, I don't I don't like his facial expression when he does that. I mean maybe maybe his gestic too, you know. Click. Hmm. 
Now let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Oh, wow! This sounds dope. Hold on now, Granny! Oh my god. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. <laughs> from where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, look, look, I don't actually really want her to look down on her just because, you know, of her origins, but damn, this, this aunt is like being a total savage right now. Holy crap. What, what are ya? This is Korean Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. <laughs> mm, sorry. Wow, she shut Lotta up. No, that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. What? What? Hey, now. Well, what was this just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Holy crap! Hey, th that's a gunshot! E excuse me? I've heard that sound before, it's a gunshot! I I bet my afro on it! M Maya! Maya's in there! Work in the chamber! Wait, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in! What? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it! We're going to have to break that door! Is that alright, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there's one matter that is... Don't try to stop me! You can send the repair bill uh, to the Red and Co. Law Office later. Yeah, no, that's what I call being a man! Slam! Yeah. Oh, hell no! Dr. Gray! I... I was murdered. Uh... Okay, now is not the time, but I'm just noticing some... Reveal... Anyways, M Maya! That man murdered me. So I killed him. Wh what? Lotta! Lotta, at a time like this? Time like this are perfect for snapping up shots! Oh, you... You nasty... You... N oh. But anyway, what's going on here? This girl, is she Maya? Step away from there! Please, leave this area to me! Go quickly and inform the police! But... But... Hurry, before there are more victims here! Let's go, city boy! Leave this to the granny! June 19, Korean Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. <sighs> and they're on their way. That's good. Uh, Lottie, I saw a genuine mistress phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all of this. Not that I blame her, I am scared to death by what's going on. What you witness? Hey mister! That girl, Maya! She wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Lara doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, when there are only the two of them in the here, 
I reckon she must have done it then. Dr. Gray. Lotto, what do you know about Miss Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gen with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. Uh, I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. Alright, now. Wait, maybe examine? It's an old style phone, bo phone booth. I can't say it fits in with this area too well. My cell phone doesn't get reception up here, so who knows? I mean, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so you're not gonna talk. Should we present it? No. June 19th, Faye Maynard, meditation room. Ah, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this, uh, to this world. The spirit savoring technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She's still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside and her, uh, wait outside for her recovery. I <sighs> guess I just have to wait. <sighs> The police are here! Sorry to keep you waiting! Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out this crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So, just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you uh, to the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Um, my name isn't Gimsh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even read that. Gimshu. <laughs> the two of them went into the Charing Chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. All right. Um, June nineteenth, Fame and Charing Cham Chamber. The police are busily running here and there, and I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey you, don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm sort of, uh, some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal, I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Maya. Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but with the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this uh, room after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional, and yet something about his expression still looks the same. <laughs> Cause of death. So Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot with he was shot in the forehead. But 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 he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? Basically the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. But he was shot twice. Isn't it a bit overkill? Okay. We cannot press, so can we examine? Hey pal, no touch and move on my mission. I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murder suspect now, can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm going to have to come back later. Alright, let's move. What about side room? Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Oh. Hello there. Um. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, I'm, uh, that is, I... Hmm? Like, isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? Why are you, why are you moving like this? Girl? Just stand still or anything. Oh, my freaking lord. You know, like, the channeling? Channeling? Oh, 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 yeah, no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Hmm. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Okay, guys, um, I don't know how you feel about it. But I think she is special. <laughs> In the head, you know. <sighs> yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's what are the words I'm looking for. It's like... Like totally a bummer. <sighs> Why do I get so many stupid characters to voice now? <laughs> yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Ini Mine. Ini Mine? Ini. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying Parapsychology, uh, psychology, parapsychology. Ah, uh -huh, that's right. And I think people like usually call it occult studies or something. Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. Um, I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at the law. Uh, Okay, let's talk. Ini mine. So, what brings you here today? Um, like, so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. Um, he asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Huh, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple person personalities are my thing. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Hey, <laughs> uh, like I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm like allergic to sesame seeds. They like must have put some in the food they served for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I like felt sick and came in here to like sleep. Hmm, I totally feel like uh, I wasted my time because I like. Uh, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder t took place? Like, what? Oh, that? I like totally know nothing. So who was like, um, you know, killed? Um, the surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. Hmm. The victim. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? <laughs> I don't know any Dr. Gray. Okay. You know, I, I, I don't want to be... I don't know if I'm assuming too much, but I think uh, she knows him. <laughs> I think this... Uh... Yeah, this was pretty apparent. Oh, really? Then, what was all the talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah... Wait... Okay... She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Okay... 
Let's get a move on. June 19th, they may not winding way. There's no one here, as usual. Ah! <laughs> hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Silent as ever. Huh? What's that? Uh, what's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. The, uh, Pearl? Um... <gasps> okay. No, wait! Ah! Uh, wh what is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? <laughs> no, have confidence. Your hair is spiky enough, okay? You you looking fly as ever. It's just a kid. Okay. Meditation room. Okay, I still cannot go here. Maybe there's some kind of trick. I, uh... Oh, nice. Alright, the item in your hand. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's try it once more. Oh, wait, I didn't want to press Korean village. Okay, whatever. Hmm. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right before, right, uh, take place right behind her. Right by her, god damn it. Locked up. God, don't let it be me next. Uh, don't, don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you would have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Any ideas? Did you see or notice anything that st stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get ya. <laughs> this is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being a cult photographer? That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh yeah! Huh? What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, she did. Two even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Girl, stop. Why? Why do you have to be like that? <sighs> you know, that's why this is one part of journalism I hate, really. It's like... <sighs> I mean, it's important to spread... I don't know, news, but like people just jump over the moral, you know, limitation standards and just like make photos of everyone, everywhere. But maybe I'm in the wrong, I don't know. L Lotta! Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the school of the century. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirit. And what does it feel like we've been through this before? Alright, meditation room. Oh, June 19th. Hey man, our meditation room. Oh, dear madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the bars? <sighs> Wait. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, everyone, listen up, you too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight.
<sighs> June 19, uh, June 20th, 802 Fame Manor Meditation Room. <sighs> Ugh, morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. June 20th, 1034, detention center visitor's room. N Nick, Nick! I. Maya! What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take a deep breath. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in the detention center. I finally. I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I... I couldn't control the spirit's powers, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me, I understand. Alright guys, I think um, this is going to be it for this episode and I will do a cut here because uh, it's almost an hour now. I don't want to stretch it too long. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and please leave a like, uh, dislike it if you didn't. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It would greatly help out me and the channel. So yeah. Have a nice day, drink enough water, and I'll all see you soon in the next episode. One Board Asian, signing out.